when he arrived, the first thing we noticed, obviously, was his very different face. He's the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> that was like my initial thought. And then, of course, it's like, all right, let's figure this out. I've never seen this before. He came from an older woman who ended up with a special needs kitten with a variety of congenital defects. When he came, he was very malnourished and he was lethargic. His personality didn't really shine at that moment. He kind of just was sleepy and didn't really want to do much. So our first step was, you know, medically treat him. Instead of being fearful or worried, I've just been very focused, very focused on, okay, what's the next step? Honestly, only took 24 hours before he was like trying to say hi and purring really loud. And just being super feisty. Jackie, who runs the rescue, reached out and said, I have a special needs baby. Can you foster? If she sent me a picture, I was like, of course I can. <laughs> Our instructions from the doctor were to prevent him from jumping, playing. He couldn't be with friends at first. Pinocchio was one of those that immediately he was like, what are you talking about? I'm normal. Like, why are you so worried about me? I'm good. I would have to be like, no, Pinocchio, slow down. Don't run. Don't jump. He was a very active kitten. He just has to take mandatory breaks. His little heart wants to do more than, than it can. As sad as that seems, I assure you, he's a very, very happy boy. <laughs> he's very confident. It's so different from the other special needs cats I have, who are amazing cats, but they don't have the confidence that Pinocchio has. Hey kiddo, you can't go out right now. It's not my time. We're still figuring things out for Pinocchio. I just want to kind of take it day by day and do the best we can do so that he can live a long life. That's our goal. He's going to make somebody such a great cat. It's insane. He just needs a lap and a friend and he's good.